Good evening, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So a lot of people have asked me about the dollar milkshake theory. What is this dollar milkshake theory? Now, this is Brent Johnson's um, dollar liquidity theory. And really, he does such a great job of, of talking about it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you guys so you can go and check out his uh, his de uh, description of the dollar milkshake theory. But I'm going to give you the basic rundown. The idea behind the dollar milkshake theory is, is that during the quantitative easing programs, Central banks around the world were adding liquidity to the market. This was essentially the building of the milkshake, including the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve was part of this. Now, a couple of years ago, the Federal Reserve stepped into quantitative tightening, where they were going to start pulling the liquidity out of the market. That was like shoving a big straw into the middle of this dollar milkshake and started sucking the liquidity out. So... After they started the quantitative tightening is when we saw a global slowdown taking place. Because what's happening is, is that nations, when they do a deal with each other, they're generally doing it in U.S. dollars. So they have to, if they want to buy oil from another country, they have to acquire U.S. dollars first before they can able, they're able to purchase the oil. Here's the thing. During the quantitative easing, it was easy for these nations to acquire the dollars. The, the Federal Reserve was weakening the currency, making the liquidity very... I don't know what easy access, you know, there was plenty of it out there. So acquiring the dollars to do foreign deals was very easy during the quantitative tightening. And they started sucking that liquidity out. All of a sudden we had to slow down in the global markets because nations had a difficult time trying to acquire the dollars that they needed in order to do the world trade. So here just recently we got the federal reserve who has tried to step back in with adding liquidity to the market through these overnight repo. But it doesn't seem to be enough. So I feel that that straw has turned into a siphon and it's sucking the liquidity out all on its own, even if the Federal Reserve doesn't want it to. So they're in the midst of trying to add liquidity to the market, but yet the rest of the world is sucking the liquidity out. OK, and you can see it in places like China where they're having bonds that are due in dollars. These are state owned Chinese companies that have bonds that are defaulting because they're due in U.S. dollars, okay? Acquiring the U.S. dollars has become more difficult for these companies to, to get in order to pay their bondholders. So they've gone to their bond, bondholders and they're telling them, okay, you're going to have to take a loss. You either get, you know, I think they cut it down from 37 on this one particular company. It was uh, T. Wu that I, I believe I was reading the article on. I'll leave a link down in the description for this article as well. But this T. Wu company, it's like huge. It's like the, I think it was one of the top 100 companies. I think it ranked like 128th or something like that as far as the size of this company in China. And it's defaulting on their bonds. And so they went to their bondholders and they said, hey, depending on the duration of it, we'll either give you 37 to 67 cents on the dollar for your bonds, or you can rule them over into a, into a new bond with a lesser interest rate and a farther out duration. So now most of the people, from what I understand, who most of the bondholders went ahead and cashed out and took their losses so that they can move on. But a few of them did roll that, roll that debt over into some new debt and extending it out with a lesser interest rate. I can only imagine that this is the dollar strengthening that's causing this to happen because China has weakened their currency. They have attempted to weaken it to increase their exports. Every time we hit them with the tariff, they weaken their currency to try and keep the exports rolling. When they do this, it makes it ever more difficult for them to acquire the dollars that they need to pay off their, their debts because a lot of these debts that they've taken out are in, are in U.S. dollars. So very interesting stuff. Uneducated economist, I'll leave a link down in the description. You guys let me know.